Okay, hello. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to register for D2L um, without having to send Dave an email and, um, and, and waiting around. So if you scroll down to online and blended learning, you'll go to your homepage and you should see the courses that you are currently teaching in, in day school. And they're already preloaded. They already have all your students. For example, if I click my careers course, that's inactive and I go to class list, you'll see that my students are in there, but this is basically a shell course. There's not nothing really going on in here. Um, I had already copied my content, but when you click on the course, there's not gonna be any content in there. Um, your students are in there, but it's not really a functional online course. It's just, this is where you're gonna have to change some things. So if I go back to my home screen, what you're gonna wanna do is, and if you can't find any of the courses here, you can go to the waffle and search for it and then click the pin button to pin it to your home screen. But what I need to do is um, I need to register for the master course. So if you click master courses, and so I would be under guidance because I'm doing careers, career studies. I'm now going to move my screen here, register, then click register again, submit, finish and then done. And then you should get an email saying that you've registered in the master course. Just registering in the master course, what that does, um, it's, it's similar to the Ontario Education Resource Bank because now I can actually search for that master course and here it is. And now I have access to the content. So even if you don't want to run your class through D2L, but you just want access to the content to get ideas for lessons, assignments, et cetera, like you would on the Ontario Education Resource Bank, this is how you would do it. You'd have to register for the master course. Now you have access to all the content from the course and the students aren't in this, reg this master course. Um, so you're the only one who'd be able to see it. And now I have access to my content, okay? Um, I'm gonna get out of this for now. But you, so you need to register for the master course because now we're going to copy that course into our shell course. So I click on my section two of careers that you can see is not set up yet. There's two steps here. The first step will be go to course admin and copy the components. So under site resources, it says import, export, copy components. Click on that. And then it's already pre-selected to the one you want, which is to copy components from another organization. Search for the offering. This is where we're gonna search for that master course we just registered for. So GLC to O, leave a space and then type in master. Here it is, make sure you're, it says teacher master course. Select it, click add selected. Scroll down, click add components. It's saying copy it again because I already did it, yes. But for you, it won't bring that up. I'll say that it's copying. And it even says copy in progress, it takes a few minutes. Okay, that's great, that's step one. Step two now is go back to course admin. And then right here under course offering information, we now need to make this active so that students have access to it. So if you scroll down, you'll see it has a start date and end dates, which is already set up for today and then July 3rd. And then under active, you select courses active and then select OK. So now that is done. So now when I go to my course home, well, actually, let's go to the home page so you can see. So now I can see this was black saying inactive. Now it is active and I can click on it. And now it is as if my students are taking this as an e-learning course. So I have my announcements, uh, discussions, class lists is a list of students, assignments, et cetera. Okay, and then my content is now here. So before your content wasn't showing anything. Okay, but now it is here and I have access to my content the same way I would if I was teaching an online course. Unit one, unit two with all the activities, and there you go. So hopefully that helps. You could pause it as you go um, if you need a few seconds to understand it, and you can let me know if you have any questions. Uh, okay, and thank you.